Hey guys, Spidey Joe down here. Hope you're having a marvelous day with my... Dustin, brother. Brother Dustin. And we've got a treat for you. As you know, we had, well, he had a comic book find storage locker, which he so kindly let me be a part of. And today we picked out 78 of the best books. 78. Because <laughs> it's hard to narrow it down. But we had probably what, 3,000 books? 4,000. 4, 4,000 books to narrow down. Narrowed them down to the best 78. And we're gonna do a comic book draft up next. Yeah. our second one to do no yeah. you wasn't part of the first wasn't part of the first so pretty cool concept yeah we're just gonna take the best books draft them one by one and since he found a lot he gets the first pick and then it's on from there so i'm gonna show you the books now so if you saw the video that i posted last week you've seen most of these books but tons of spider-man key issues x-men key issues dc key issues there you see x-men 129 Got the first Phoenix, the first Man Wolf. There's X Men '94, probably the hottest book around. Got Black Cat, Spider Woman, Miss Marvel. Got Jane Foster as Thor. Got the first Mystique. This book, this set was heavy with first female appearances, which I dig quite a bit. And uh, you know, some not so major keys, but books that we'd like to have and. Some really, really cool books like this one. So anyway, guys, we are about to start this draft. All right, so Dustin has number one pick. You're up, brother. Right. What's your first book? Have you already decided? No, I mean, I got a pretty good idea. I think we both do. I'll make the first one quick and easy. Oh, <laughs> he did it. I don't know, there, bud. Oh, very good. This is complete. Good luck. Yeah, well, I have no idea what's going to be my first pick. I know generally might what it might be. Um, so many good books, and this is just hard for me. Hard to see 94 Wolf like that. <laughs> uh, really is, really is. Um, Seventy-eight others. Seventy-eight others is gonna be a lot. I'll just go ahead and get it, I guess. All right, let me get my X-Men book out of the way, just so I'm missing. Cause I'm afraid he's gonna take it. I Man, I could be wrong. Uh, oh, it's so hard. You know what? Yeah. All right, book <laughs> number two. I'm gonna take this. You're gonna be mad at me. Uh, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, I'm already pissed off. <laughs> it's tough. You're doing it just to be mean. I'm not doing it to be mean. That's not what Rizzy's doing. But it's a black cover, black hat. You gotta put it in She's pretty. Number two pick. Alright. You're gonna be like that. You're gonna be like this. You're getting it. Oh, we got the joker. Yep. Got me the joker. Let's see being like that. <laughs> Only one. Still a bunch of good books left. A lot of good books left. Gonna go man wolf, first parents. You're killing me. This is killing me, guys. <laughs> They're just being destroyed here. By my brother. Go on, right Go on and get my rogue, even though it's a terrible copy. Give me that. John Stewart. You get that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get Miss Jane Foster here since she's going to uh, make her MCU appearance this morning. <laughs> Being kind on this one. Since he did that, I'll do this. I don't want to take either one of those because I have them. That's a... What did you get? X-Men 109. Oh, man. Good job. Good job. I 
I can't stand the, the stress anymore. And we'll go ahead and get the first mystique before he takes it. He already owns it, by the way. He already has a really nice graded copy, yet he is tempting me with failure. Is Phoenix such a low grade that you'd rather put it in the collection and sell or you want to draft it? Oh no, I want to draft it. I just didn't want to draft it before those books. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to make it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't need it. So, uh, that puts you either one. I'll let you go next. You get the next two picks. Uh, I'll consider that. Let's see. You want me to set the Nike down because I think that's a prettier cover than the other one. Do you? I do. I love that. The whole scene. I love the first one. Well, you should have paired some of these together. Well, you could, but then it gets out loud. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it so that he doesn't uh, do it to me. Those who don't know, first appearance of Phoenix. First Scott Lang Ant Man. Checking on a villain in the MCU, the doc. Awesome, good job. Good work, good work, good work. This is our first appearance of She-Hulk, issue number one. We're recording, but you can talk. Amazing Spider-Man 135, second appearance of The Punisher. What was that? Uh, I got it. You good? You good? First appearance of Nova, issue number one. So you got two twelve. Oh. Green Lantern, number four, eighty-six. Controversial drug issue. First Spider Woman on uh, in Tiger. Dustin, you want to do the next two picks and then I get three picks? Say that again? You get two picks in a row, then I get three picks in a row. That should bring us back even. The next two, I'm going to give you three. Yep. Second appearance of Morbius. And Dark Phoenix cover, classic, classic cover. Good choice. Let's do one of my top three. The next three picks, for sure. What about them? Uh, possibly, but the Phoenix for sure. Oh, you didn't get it. All right, since Dustin got two picks in a row, I'm getting three picks in a row. I'm starting out with Iron Man 1, excuse me, Iron Fist 1. Star Wars Issue 2, first appearance of Obi-Wan Kenobi, not great condition. And Giant Size Spider-Man and Punisher, first, uh, third or fourth appearance of Punisher and First appearance of the Punisher band. Uh, just think this book's going to go up in value with 129 uh, climbing up higher. Marvel preview presents Satana, first rocket raccoon. Okay. First full appearance of the Hellfire Club. First full appearance, Alpha Flight. First appearance of Deathstroke. Iron Man 54, first Moon Dragon. Sweet. Major Spider Man 162, appearance of Punisher. His first pick. Yeah. Eternals number three, first appearance of Cersei. Yeah, I like that one. Just want to put it back in the lock. Yes, sure. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. How do you edit that? I'm, I'm just going to have to take my time. Uh, play, erase, 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 I'm not going to have a little bit of a 
X Men Future Past classic cover. Rough condition. Can they take one for me? Uh -oh. Well. Should have made it this far, but classic Raja Ghoul Batman. Famous cover. First appearance of Madam Webb. I'm going to speed up this portion of the video because my dad was talking quite a bit and we were not able to to be able to really speak to the camera and show you guys what we were drafting and instead of trying to do some fancy fancy editing of which i cannot do i thought it would be best just to speed up the video and bring this draft to a conclusion enjoy guys here you can see that my brother drafted another x-men book to go along with his other phoenix books i picked up this great dr strange cover which I really do like. Uh, there's not a lot of great Doctor Strange covers. Um, at this point, uh, Dustin reached for The Thing and Deathlock, which is a hot book right now. I grabbed Avengers 100, which is like full Avengers. Dustin got the book that went with his Wolfman, and then I grabbed the first Warlock uh, from Marvel Premiere. This has shown up on Comic Tom's Top 5. Dustin got Firestorm, and then I grabbed issue number one of Warlock. From there, I grabbed the first time Miss Marvel donned that classic costume. And Dustin grabbed the first cover appearance of White Queen. Sure wished I'd have picked that one up. And that was really the conclusion of our draft. At that point, we decided we had drafted enough and that the remaining lot of comic books needed to go in the cell bin of the remaining thousands of books that we were going to be auctioning and selling off as uh, fillers for other people's collections. We really had a great time. I have a video now concluding our best picks. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And if you stay to the end of this draft, kudos to you. Big thank you. I really do appreciate all of you for watching. And I hope you all have a marvelous day. So these are the books that we did not draft that we had set aside here. And uh, I mean, there's still some good keys in here. We got Electra, Classic Cover, Nebula, yeah. First New Mutants. First, uh, Darkhold. First, Mockingbird. Pretty good condition. First, I uh, can't remember that guy's. Tarantula. Bill Svesky. Swanzevich. Cover. Power Girl. First, Power Girl. Stroke. Yeah, so some good books we, uh, we left out. We're going to put them in the sale lot here. Classic covers. But anyways, now for our... Top six and biggest regrets that we missed out on. All right, Dustin, so let's do a quick recap for you. All right, this is my top six. I got a low grade X Men 94, pretty good looking black cat, Man Wolf, first appearance, and the classic Green Lantern, John Stewart, first appearance, and Bullseye. Oh, that sweet. Was my top six picks. Sweet. Yeah, and now the top six, one that I, well, obviously I would love to have had any of those books but uh, black cat may be one of my bigger regrets obviously i would have loved to have had this book but i didn't have the first pick so that wasn't going to ever happen so to recap my top six books my sixth pick was uh this miss marvel book first appearance of mystique very happy to have it you know i went fe female first appearance heavy uh first uh, spider woman here a really cool cover not a very valuable book but cool first jane foster here uh really excited about the potential for this book First row, ugly cover. The book is not in great condition, but I did not want to pass up on it because it could get out of my reach eventually. And then I drafted this in spite of my brother since he took my black cat, which he knew <laughs> I wanted and was very excited about getting. Uh, and it turns out it's worth more, so I'm happy. So. Cool cover and a really good looking. Uh, this is probably a four or five oh of the uh, X-Men 129. A lot of great first appearances, great book to have. This is my first overall pick. 
again, thank you all for watching. Remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe. I do really appreciate it. Sorry for the difficult editing at the end. My father, whom I love, showed up and uh, wanted to chat with his boys, which was cool, but it didn't help for content creating. Uh, but that's all right. I'd rather have the memory with him than, uh, than this video. So, But uh, I do appreciate the grace that you guys continue to show me as a somewhat new content creator here on YouTube. Going to continue to do that and uh, bring more videos. Got a fun Hawaiian hunt video coming up next. I hope you stay tuned to watch it. And again, as always, have a marvelous day.